Human rights activists ask Nicki Minaj to please cancel your concert in Angola. The South African country has been ruled by Jose Eduardo Dos Santos since 1979. They have a long-standing history of human rights violations, also known, his government known to being one of the most corrupt government in Africa. So the Hollywood Reporter reports that Thor Halverson, Thor Tor Halverson of the Human Rights Foundation sent a letter to Minaj asking her to cancel the performance. We have parts of the letter. It reads, quote, Miss Minaj, you are well known for being involved with charities such as the Get Schooled Foundation, which helps motivate young people to graduate from high school and succeed in college. If you move forward with this performance for the dictator and his family, you will be in league with the people stealing educational resources and opportunity from young Angolans. Thoughts, five words or less. Just say no. Yes. Young blood money made me. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Two points. Whoops. That's a three pointer. That's a three pointer. Yes. That's a three pointer. From the for perimeter. Brett. Yes, it is. Uh, she's not the first. That's mm -hmm. what's sad. I didn't realize because then <laughs> I didn't realize that uh, Hillary Swain, Beyonce, Beyonce, Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey, most recently, Erica Badu are accepting these huge paychecks to perform for these dictators. When Hillary Swain found out, she immediately returned or she donated her earnings and then she fired her manager because she just did not know. Mm -hmm. But now, with the power of social media, maybe two decades ago, these celebrities could go and do this and it would be kind of like nobody would find out. But now we know. So, is there ever a justification to perform for these dictators? No. no. So then why are they doing it? Money. <laughs> they get paid so but much. It's, it's ruining freaking... their reputation. Here's the thing is one of the perks of being a celebrity is that people just want you to come to things. Like we look at all the folks, like all the, the Kardashians that get paid $250,000 to sit in a booth at a club. Right. That's the dynamic at work. Mm -hmm. Their manager's always like, you want to do a personal appearance? You want to do a personal appearance? Do you want to travel to Africa and do a personal appearance? Now, a lot of us know, but maybe not everybody, that not all celebrities are super smart or educated about what's happening in the world. Once they become educated, there's no excuse anymore. The CIA would love it if you two could take him out. I see what you're saying, but they need to surround themselves with people, who, whoever they're booking this with, they, they need to be educated, they need to know better. There's just really no excuse for this. I think it'd be different if it was like Nicki Minaj is doing a, you know, a... Benefit. Con a benefit concert in Angola, or just, or just a concert just to cheer up the people that are kind of dealing with this really terrible government right now. But for the dictator and his family, what are you doing? You can go. I just expected more from her. You're, me too. You, Nicki Minaj, now more than ever, she has become very progressive and she's become a voice, an advocate, a feminist, and she's really trying to help be more of a global citizen. At least we've seen that in the past right. couple of months. So this surprises me. She even, her response was because I got high when, when asking if she was gonna do the concert or why she agreed to do the concert. She said, because I got high. Because I got high. Because I got high. Because I got high. So hopefully we haven't heard any more detail into what that response meant, but maybe she's saying she's not gonna do it. She was Seems high like at the she time. Got high. Seems like when I get high, I eat chips. I don't perform for dictators. <laughs> Well, she didn't do weird? it yet. She didn't do it yet. I would agree to perform for a dictator Hopefully. if I was stoned, which I don't do a lot. I just don't want people to think. A lot of people think I'm always high on the show. We shoot at 11 a.m. I don't Sleepy have time. Eyes. Sleepy puffy eyes. I'm usually very tired. Um, but that said, like, I would agree. If I was stoned and someone's like, do you want to go sing happy birthday to the dictator of Turkmenistan? F I'd that. be like, yeah, that sounds hilarious. But... I would then not be high after a certain amount of time. And I'd realize, Whoops. even if it's totally selfish for me, not wanting to ruin my reputation as Jennifer Lopez or whoever, even if it was an utterly selfish motivation, you still shouldn't do it. Yeah, yeah. unbelievable. Okay, hopefully, Nikki, you say no. Please, please, please say no. That's not fair. You're taking the money of all. You're taking the people's money. What's weird you're is like. You're taking the people's money, their resources, their education, and blood money, considering all of the torture and things that, that have also gone on underneath that government. Don't do that thing where it's like, well, now that I've been paid to do it, we're talking about I it. I know. And that's helping. Yeah, no, it, that's no. not helping. Oh, it no. would be helping if you got, if you, if you brought it up that someone asked you to do it and you said no. Thank you. We talk you. about that. Yeah, own the f up. Okay, you guys, please keep the conversation going in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys next time on Pop Trigger. Also, make sure you check us out on watchable.com.